Maya is now really serious about only letting current students use its software for free. I never ask for likes, but I humbly ask that you do not dislike this video due to any anger you understandably have towards Autodesk. If you're no longer a student, you either have to pay or if you just want to keep learning it to prepare for your dream job, then you might just have to learn how to and then you'll be fine. So follow these steps carefully. If you do it wrong, it can be really time consuming to fix. First, go to Google and search for Maya student. Click on the top result that looks like this. Create an account. Fill out your details using the name that will appear on your school records. If you've changed your name in a social setting or if you want to use a gamer tag, don't do it. Just use what the school's got on their files. Your email address does not have to be your school email. It can be a personal one. Hit create account and log in to the email that you just typed in. Find the email from Autodesk that says verify your Autodesk account and then hit verify email. Then hit done. Hit continue if you can still see this screen. Click done on the account created screen and now you'll need to log in. Click remind me later. Whatever you see now, go right back to Google and search again for Maya student version. Click sign in again. Now click complete profile. It will probably ask you to sign in yet again. You may also have to enter your country details one more time as well. Now you will need to enter the name of your school college or university. If it does not appear from this drop down list, which is usually the case with smaller schools, you may need to go back and click on the contact us near the bottom of this page. Hopefully an agent will be available in chat. Otherwise you'll need to do an email support form at the bottom here and ask them to add your school to the list. They may get back to you and give you an email address for the school to provide evidence to. Ask your teacher to help and nag them every day until it's done. If your school was on the list, you can carry on. Make sure that you get the date right and click next. Then continue and you should go straight to this screen or you might see a verify now button like this that you should press. Then hit verify and it will ask you to submit evidence that you are a current student from your school. An enrollment letter or any letter with your name, the school's name, preferably on a letter headed page, and a date from within the last 12 months. If unsure, forward this template from the description below to your school's student services so that they know what to write for you. Once you get this, scan it in with the free Adobe Scan app on your phone or grab an emailed PDF from your downloads folder and drag it carefully in here. It should only take about two to five minutes after submitting the letter for you to receive an email saying that the documentation has been verified. It should look like this. Once you get this email, go back to the Autodesk website and sign out and sign back in again. You should see this message reminding you that you can do this process again in 12 months time to continue for another 12 months. You will obviously need a more recent letter for this. Now click the button for get Autodesk software. Choose your version, but I would highly recommend getting Maya 2020 or later due to the poly remesh and retopologize tools that are truly life-changing that were introduced in this version. See a link in the description for more about these. At this point, your serial number and product key will be generated. They will also be emailed to you. I would recommend screenshotting this page just to be safe and keeping this tab open. You're going to need it later. Now click install now, accept and install. Double click on the downloaded Maya installation file. Leave Maya to install on the C drive. If your C drive is full, delete some games. You have to install it on here unless you're really smart and know what you're doing. All Maya users, including beginners, will really need to tick the box here for installing Arnold as well as Maya, which is the render engine. If you're low on space, you could skip some of the other two as they're for slightly more advanced users, but I would install them all anyway to save hassle at a later date. 
Maya will take about half an hour to install based on your internet speed. If your internet at home sometimes craps out, you might have some problems and the installation process will probably fail. So you might need to restart your router or install at a friend's house or something where they have good internet. Once it's installed, click start and then click enter a serial number. Click agree and then press activate, not run. Don't open Maya yet. So you know that page that I got you to keep open earlier? Copy and paste the serial number from that into this box here. Then hit next and finish. Unless you know what this window means, click create default preferences. Untick the box for show this at startup. It's just telling you to look out for the buttons in green as they are new to this version of Maya, such as these guys that I mentioned earlier. Great. Now it's time to learn one of the most complex creative softwares on the planet. Hopefully some of these beginner tutorials that I've made can help you get started. So that's it for the tutorial on how to install Maya, but here is a link to my Maya installation FAQ video for some frequent questions that my students ask me, such as selling models with this license, system requirements, and even forging school documents for when they're no longer students. Any questions raised from this video will be answered there.